Hey everyone, welcome back to Wiwi Blogs. Bienvenidos de nuevo a Wiwi Blogs, Sunny. Yes! Benidorm Fest 2024 was absolutely spectacular. I absolutely loved being there, witnessing this greatness. I mean, congratulations to the whole organization. Again, just like last year, we had so much fun time. You know, the sun, the sea, the food, paella, alioli, and you know, the people meeting all of the friends and meeting new friends. It was absolutely like a dream, you know, heaven, heaven. I always call Benidorm <laughs> like heaven, place on earth. So yeah, and Nebulosa, Zora, win the national final with an amazing performance i haven't watched the tv version yet because we were in the arena and we watched the live uh you know there and this will be my first reaction to the tv version so i'm so excited to see how it sounded and how it was visually on television because in the arena oh my gosh the energy was so high i remember the public singing every single word of that song you know, screaming Zora, Zora, Zora. It's an iconic song. It's an iconic song and iconic uh, singers, you know, Maria and Mark Deban. Hey, you guys. Are you ready? Let's, Let's do, do this. <laughs> All right, it's time. It's time putting our AirPods Pro on. I am absolutely excited because I love, love, love Nebulosa so much. Love Maria, love Mark and Zora. It's such an iconic song with a, such a good message. I really hope that RTVE um, succeeds on, on delivering the message to the whole Europe, to the people who don't speak Spanish. <laughs> So they can understand really good and I think nevertheless this song will have such a huge success at Eurovision. I really do. I think the Televote will uh, be behind this song so much, maybe even more than the jury. But sometimes the juries also surprise us. They were like, all right, all right, we love that, we love that. And they are, you know, voting their 10, 12 points and 8 points and until 1. I really hope they do great at Eurovision. So yeah. Let's get into it. I am hitting play. Oh, Nebulosa. the lights. Zora. Come on. Nebulosa. Hey. Bom, 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 bom. Hey. Love, love, Oh my gosh. Love. You can literally hear the public screaming, even on television. Oh, is Do you hear that? Do you hear that? How they sing together oh, in Spanish. Spanish. Oh, hey. This is so magical. Such a magical moment. Oh yes, Mark. She looks fierce. <laughs> Those dancers. Do you know that? Oh, I love the kind of They are drag queens in Spain. Wardrobe. They are so professionalists. Choreography, honey. Tempo. Very 80s. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, I love this. And the audience, you can hear Come on. them. They're into it. That moment, I was like, Oh, she's serving. She's feeling so much that song. Bring those asses, girl. They have a really like bubbly. Ass. It's it's you know. They never miss the. Oh, oh they stress. <laughs> the gym, glutes gym. Oh, fabulous! Eternal glamour. Oh, she's so happy. She's really, really so happy. And Mark at the back, like, go girl, she's my girl, and she's sexy, and she's slave. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, I love the lips on the screen, oh. on the LED. Yeah. This is working for me. Stretch those legs. The split was amazing, really. Do you hear the public? Come on! 
I love how she feels so much the energy coming from the public and the public feels her energy that she gives oh. Everyone singing this Feels like Europe's best kept secret Come on Oh yeah, walk, walk, fashion, baby. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Can Give me a minute so and let's talk. Mi alma dorada, sirviendo zorra dorada forever. <sighs> The staging is so good, actually. I, I felt like, you know, when I was in the arena, I was like, hmm, I feel like they have to make it even bigger, you know, for Eurovision. Of course, they could do that. But now that I watch it on, on television, just, you know, fix the camera uh, shots and, you know, add more pyros even or um, fire, why not? But the staging is really, really, really great. But of course, if they end up, you know, deciding, oh, we're gonna make it bigger, we're gonna have more or bigger props, stage props, and more energy, of course, I am absolutely here for it. It's such an iconic... Do you know that this song is, in the moment, at the second place in viral global songs on uh, Spotify? How crazy is that? The date is Thursday, 8th of February, literally like five days after the grand final. Girl, they are slaying in every single way. And I'm absolutely happy about it because the song has a great, great message again. You know, the instrumental is so good. It just makes you move. Like you cannot sit, you know, when you are in the club, you cannot be like during that song. You have to shake your ass, shake your body <laughs> and scream Zora, Zora, Zora. Because we are all, uh, you know, kind of, you know, got to hear the word in our lives. People saying, uh, you know, bad things about us, even though we did nothing wrong. Be Zora, be yourself and don't you ever make others decide your life. The way you live, the way you feel, it's in your, you know, power to feel whatever you want to feel, to, to do whatever you want to do. And the most important thing is just don't, you know, hurt people, you know, do whatever you want. Just don't hurt people yeah. and yourself, of course, don't hurt yourself, girl, come on. <laughs> so yeah, this song is so strong with a, such a strong message for women, for even for men and, you know, for LGBTQ plus community. And for everybody, literally for everybody. So embrace it, dance on the floor and forget about the bad things that the people say about you. And yeah, just enjoy the music, enjoy life. Oh my gosh, I got too deep <laughs> about this. So, but hey, it's it's a deep conversation and it's it should be out there, you know, popular. Like people should be talking about this. Nebulous means vague or ill-defined. And let me just tell you this, Nebulosa Zora, there is nothing ill-defined about this. This is decidedly 80s for today, straddling different decades. You know, the, the concept, the voguing, the choreography, aside from the voguing, the wardrobe and the lack of, and just the sheer glamour of it. It's just so beautiful. I mean, this is like Hollywood via Madrid. I absolutely love this. The female lead vocalist, she reminds me of Teresa Bazaar, the Canadian female lead from Dollar. She also reminds me of Amanda Lepore, who I still worship. This is phenomenally amazing. I actually decided not to react to Benedon Fest because, you know, historically, it's just a lot of shade, right? I give my opinion and then everybody hates it. But funnily enough, whilst I haven't heard what the other songs sound like, on this occasion, I would have leaned right into, into this. This is my kind of music. This is the music that kind of makes me feel great. And this is the kind of music that I feel stands on its own solidly as a radio entry. So whatever visuals you pop into it will only elevate it. 
The color scheme is great. I love the red tones. I love the black. I love the vaudeville nature of this. But I also love the sort of, the fact, she is just so glamorous. She is like an icon beaming out of the shadows and giving me shapes of silhouette and stuff. Oh my God, this is just so phenomenal. And there's a sense of that. There's something about this, you know, you know how Kylie Minogue and how these world divas and, you know, I mean, you've got, you've got today's Ariana Grande, but you've also got these sort of the old school glam, who, by the way, are still dominating the charts, still ruling, still putting out music that reminds previous generation of listeners that they're still around, but at the same time, telling today's people, Gen Z, Gen X, Gen whatever, that hey, pick up the phone, vote, because I'm still here. I am still here. But yeah, Nebulosa, Maria and Mark and the whole team, congratulations. And I can't wait to see them on the Eurovision stage and I think they will serve. I think they will be very, very, very successful. Can't wait to witness their greatness. I mean, this has got very strong domestic um, approval. The approval ratings domestically are just fierce because she, uh, what a, a song that was not internally selected in a country that is part of a roster of songs. And she, at, at some point, the audience was just singing it along with her. I mean, that, that would replicate at Eurovision. I, I feel like I just want to get in, get to know the lyrics. There's something really amazing about this. And you know, Benidorm Fest, which is like a carnival in sunny Spain in, you know, February anyway, they, they, this is kind of what they needed. This was the dose of sunshine that they really needed. I am in love with this. A part of me thinks Nebulosa, I want to see, are you on Pinterest? Because we need a mood board of different shapes, different expressions, different color tones, different lip moves. Just, oh, just even her hair styling, everything about this is just, it's just so regal and so poised and just, yeah, this is, this is the definition of fabulous. I'm living for this. And I must admit, we haven't heard all the entries yet, but yeah, this one has really rocked my boat. I'm in love with Spain 2024. Oh my God. This, yeah, this, this, yeah, love. Love, love, love. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Muchísimas gracias, mi almas doradas. I hope you like it. Please write down your thoughts. If you like Nebulosa, if you like Zora, what do you think? Uh, where they're going to be on the scoreboard, on the left side or on the right side. I don't think they will be on the right side. Like, it's left side, definitely. <laughs> and yeah, what did you think about Benidorm? Do you have songs that you still listen to? Yeah, follow me on Instagram, SinanSDL, and follow Deban on Instagram, Deban underscore Deban. Keep saying, keep going, you are all amazing, don't you ever forget it. And we'll see you later. Bye! Bye. <laughs>